This is Drake's house. Uh, one of the greatest things. Like I mean, he built it in, le in about two years. He built it from from scratch. I guess when you have money, you can build it fast. Alex, what's going on? Happening. A lot of things are happening. Spring is here, so we're gonna start shooting again. I wouldn't shoot too much during the winter time. It was a heavy duty winter here in Canada. So we're going to uh, start a new segment, add a new segment to our show, which is gonna include the most expensive, exclusive uh, neighborhoods of Toronto. And I'm gonna show you all the details, as much as I know, which is a lot, but I'll show you everything in it for you guys to have your knowledge out there. Okay, we're here. This is our first area, one of my preferred ones. It's Rosedale. I am on one of the best streets. It's Chestnut Park. You can see the houses. They're gorgeous, very exclusive. Walking distance to Young and Bloor area, to all the financial district. Over here, these houses, actually, they're all heritage. That means that they cannot demolish them or rebuild them. Once in a while, you'll get some that do it, but they have to go through five, 10 years of begging to get the thing. But when they rebuild it as brand new, they have to build the same look as it was before. But they're not, uh, this is all heritage protected. Nothing can be redone here. The exteriors, yeah, the inside is like a Parisian home, right? So everything inside is redone. Some of the old ones are even better because they have high ceilings from the uh, beginning. They built them with like 11 foot ceilings. So it's very easy to do some of them. They have lower ceilings and people are going in there and redoing everything, lifting up the house. They're just keeping the facade all around. They have to keep the facade and redo it. But as you can see, the gorgeous area. I love this neighborhood, walking distance to everything, but you have to have over minimum $10 million to get into the neighborhood on a decent home. Or if you want to buy a house and redo everything, you're paying maybe seven, eight million dollars and you can do it. I actually had an offer here for a property. I went up to 8.4, asking it was like six and a half. Somebody blew me out to at 8.8, .8, like as if it was nothing. And even 8.4 was a crazy number that I gave them at the beginning. Okay, now we're in the second best area to me. It's a forest hill area. This is a newer area than uh, Rosedale. Rosedale is one of the original old areas. It was, I guess, back in the early 1900s, it was uptown. Forest Hill, is, which is north of St. Clair, it's, it's a newer developed area. This, this, these ones are not heritage. And uh, as you can see, the houses have been rebuilt, but they have been rebuilt to, to the best of their capacity you can have you have full coverage here so most of these under them even to the end of the yard they have a you can see one parking it, it's not a one parking it's a ramp that goes down and below it is all parking spots like everyone has 10 20 cars under uh, parked underneath it's a it's a great area big lots like these streets i'm driving on right now they're like 60 footers 70 footers 100 footers they have huge houses like a castle i guess uh, a house being built here it's gonna be huge. It's, it's being built like a condo, actually. It's all steel framing. Uh, it's it's huge. To buy a, ha a lot right now, lots go for minimum six million. Like these are 50 foot lots. A 60 foot livable house just sold uh, recently on this street, Dun Vegan, for 8.3 million dollars. But if you wanted livable, which you have to renovate and spend millions of dollars in it in the renovations you're looking at 8.5 or you want to buy a lot to rebuild it, you're looking minimum, minimum $7 million today. And product mansion, um, there are homes, like the house that I showed you is being built like a condo. Uh, he goes, if I finish it, I'm, uh, I'm gonna ask uh, like $50 million for it. So, but 13 and up is the price for, for the new price for, for still. And why is it so desirable? because it's very exclusive. It's a very, uh, they're big lots in the city, I guess. You can walk from here to Yorkville, to St. Clair. You have subway there, but they're very exclusive and they're huge lots. They're like 50 by 170, 50 by 180. Like uh, you have very, very large lots here. They can, and you get full coverage on them so you can build big houses, monster houses in the city. 
So the house is run in the family. The big lots, they don't sell them. If they can keep it in the family, they pass it on to their kids and they will rebuild them and the new generation will live in the houses. Over here in Forest Hill, per front linear foot, you're looking from 125 and up per linear foot for frontage if you want to buy a lot, if you want to get in. So if it's a 100 foot lot, you're going to be paying at least 10 to $12 million for the lot itself. So now we're in the Toronto's most prestigious part of the city. These houses, they're mansions, as you can see, they're huge. This is Drake's house, a, one of the greatest things. Like, I mean, he built it in, le in about two years. He built it from, from scratch. I guess when you have money, you can build it fast. The bridal path is you got uh, acre lots uh, or bigger in the middle of the city. These lots are huge. Not my favorite part of the city, personally. I, I wouldn't want to live in one of these big ones, even if I had the money. It's, it's huge, too big. You have to drive to get to stores, to anything. You can't walk anywhere. But the, what makes it great is that the park, Edwards Gardens, right here. It's on your right hand side. You'll see Edwards Garden. You can go there. You can walk from here. You can walk down to Toronto. There's trails that go everywhere. It's a great neighborhood for somebody who has money and they want big this is it pricing here oh land alone starts from like 12 million dollars you can't get anything less than that okay for these ones there's again as every other part of toronto you have smaller sections of it the smaller sections yes the 50 60 70 foot lots you can get them for seven eight million dollars but this is not this bridal path this is this is it look look at the castles around you it's, it's uh, they're all castles they're like all the big big shots of toronto are here that want to be exclusive like instead of being up in up north in the in a cottage country they buy this and this is their cottage land as i said lots are about 10 to 12 13 million dollars depending which street and end product starts anywhere from 20 million they're but, but they're huge like i bet you if drake had to sell his house he would ask minimum minimum of 60 70 million dollars for his house that would be one of the highest yes there is another one like in forest still as i said the guy is building a mansion and uh, it's a hundred foot frontage. He's, he's building it. He's going to be asking uh, if he wants to sell it. He'll never sell, but if he had to sell it, if he sells it under $50 million, he loses money on it. So then does that mean the price per foot is more expensive in the other locations than it is here? No, this price, no, over here it's more because you spend more in these kind of things. You, it's not like you don't put just a normal growy faucet in there you don't put a total toilet in there you just put the best of the best there's in the market everything is like okay it's building a castle so you can't compare the price per square foot here with somewhere else because these are all big houses unless somebody doesn't do it properly and just builds a willowdale house on steroids i call it over here nothing becomes heritage everything here like after 20 30 years the next person that buys it they demolish it and then rebuild it for themselves they, they don't just renovate the inside like rosedale rosedale was everything is heritage you have to keep the facade you have to keep the height of the house and inside whatever you can do you can do inside it for still bridal path these these properties here these are newer areas so they're not heritage protected like you see this is a low bungalow but it's beautiful i bet you inside but if next person that buys he's gonna demolish it and build a 30,000 square feet home all right guys so this was the part one of our new series i guess i hope you liked it this is the most expensive the most luxurious parts of toronto i'm showing you if you liked it please don't forget to subscribe like and tell your friends to subscribe and uh, ask me what you want to see which areas you want to see maybe you want to see other lower end areas like scarborough pickering out of town whatever if you want to see it let me know i can analyze it for you i can show you why prices are the way they are and uh, we can take it from there again don't forget subscribe and like